Hi, Desert Peak neighbors and Nextdoor.com viewers. This is Henry. So we've seen a lot of uh, stuff posted about cars being broken into and garages and vandalism and everything. So we're going to take a look at some of the problems that we're having, that we're posting about, and see what we can do to help stop them. Okay, so we're in my garage, and every garage, who, every person who has a garage, has a garage door opener from inside. So it turns on the lights, it opens the garage door, but it also allows you to lock the door. So when you slide it to the open position, you can now turn on your lights, turn off your lights, and open your door. If you slide it to the lock position, notice the backlighting goes out. Now, no one can get into your garage remotely using a remote or any kind of thing in your car. So let's say you lock your car, you forget to lock your car at night, and your remote's in there. Or maybe during the day, and you're gone, and your car is out in the driveway, and the remote is in there. If you slide this to off before you leave, they can't use the button to get in your garage. So, simple things like that. Lock your door remote, your garage remote, if you're not going to be using it, or as I do it every day and every night. So what I'll do is I'll pull the car out of the garage, I will go back inside and lock this to off, so nobody has access to my garage with a remote. There's no way to use a remote and try to figure out my code or whatever and get in. It just is one more step in keeping your property safe. So when you park your car, if you have more than one, leave it outside and make sure it's locked. My remote's up here. That's where I keep mine. And a person who's up to no good, if they do get in the car, will look and they'll push this button to see if it works. So when you have that switch locked, you can push it all you want, nothing's gonna happen. It's one more you know, method of defense. But to be on the safe side, lock your door. Just make it a habit before you go to bed every night. Push your remote while you're near your bed. Go through a pre-list, you know, checklist. You know, are the front door locked, side door locked, you know, garage door locked, patio door locked, you know, the gate. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the patio. These are only a couple of dollars, but it means if somebody wanted to get in, they're gonna have to climb over the top, which is uh, pretty hard to do if you're gonna be taking stuff out of there. You're gonna have to throw it over. It's gonna look pretty obvious to anybody else watching as they go by, they can see. So invest in that lock to keep your backyard safe and people going through your screen doors or whatever doors you have back there. Other things people have done is put in motion detectors on these switches, on these lights, so that if anybody is lurking around, the lights come on. It makes the person that's thinking about doing something bad think, oh, somebody's home or I'm being watched or whatever. Some people have cameras where they could place, you know, in front of their door or along their garage to make sure. What I do is, since I have so many vehicles, is that I almost have a wall of defense. So even if you do get in, you're going to have to move a bike and another car to get to the Mercedes, <laughs> or you're going to have to move another car to get to the Mustang. It's going to be kind of difficult. So I, I do what I can. No place is perfect. Sometimes, you know what they say, if they're going to get you, they're going to get you. But you put up the biggest defense you can. And when somebody complains or talks about a problem, let's try to be nice. Let's try to be understanding because if it happened to us, hopefully we would want to be having people be understanding toward us, right? We all have to live together. We should all watch out for each other. If we see something, like they say, say something. So, you know, we're supposed to be a neighborhood, which means being neighborly. Let's try to be neighborly. And uh, you guys have a happy holidays.